What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. Get in there, comment for the algorithm, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But actually, I'd really love it if you click the links in the description. <laughs> I need money. I don't need money, but I always like when you buy my stuff, so. If you don't mind, click links in the description. Check out some of our awesome products and services. If not, thanks for watching the video. Let's get to it. This is from an account called The Real Bradley. The Real Bradley, okay, <laughs> L-E-A. All right, so my, my vision isn't that bad. The title is The Toxic Ingredient in Your Kid's Vitamins. I haven't seen this video yet, but whenever somebody talks about toxic, usually I can be pretty sure that they've never had a basic toxicology class. Foreshadowing, dosage makes the poison. One form of B12 in the world is entirely synthetic. <gasps> we make it from hydrogen cyanide. <gasps> It's called cyanocobalamin. Oh. It's a cyanide-based B12. No. I mean, it's hard to believe that we're allowed to make vitamins out of hydrogen cyanide in no. this country, but we are. Flintstone vitamins have cyanocobalamin. Oh. So do airborne. So do Celsius energy oh. drinks. Emergency has cyanocobalamin, no. cyanide-based B12. So when you put this form of B12 into the body, it drops off the cobalt metal, the cobalamin, right? Which is B12 is a metal, a light metal. It drops off. B12 is not a light metal. It has cobalt as part of the structure. It's actually a complicated ring structure with a cobalt molecule as a cofactor, but it's not just a metal. But, you know, pretty sure this guy never had biochemistry anyway, so. Off the metal into the cell, and then you're left with a floating cyanide molecule. <gasps> now the body doesn't recognize that. Ooh. So in order for cyanide to leave the system, it binds to oxygen and other light metals and takes them out of the system. It's a thief. Yep, never had basic toxicology. Just, I just want you to remember this one line. The dosage makes the poison. Please, nobody tell this guy that apples have cyanide in them and actually significantly more cyanide that's in your B12 supplement. Like if what he's saying is correct, then there should just be people dropping dead all over the place from vitamin B12 supplements. The LD50, which an LD50 is basically the dosage that's required to kill approximately 50% of a population who takes it, which is considered like your kind of toxicity threshold. For cyanocobalamin, it's about 5,000 milligrams per kilogram in mice, because they've never actually had a human die from it. There's no documented cases of it. But if we use a human equivalent dosing, it's about 33, thousand milligrams of cyanocobalamin or 33 grams. You know how much is in vitamin B12 supplements? A thousand micrograms. You know what a thousand microgram is? One milligram. One milligram. So you would need to take 33,000 vitamin B12 pills for it to actually be toxic. Let's put this a different way because he's talking about, well, the cyanide molecule falls off. It's not just attached anymore. It falls off. The molecular weight of cyanide is about 26 grams per mole. The molecular weight of vitamin B12 is approximately like 1330, I think, something like that. So if we do the math, it ends up being just under 2% of the molecular weight of cyanocobalamin is from the cyanide. If we look at what the lowest end for cyanide toxicity is, it's about 50 milligrams. So if we back calculate based on a thousand microgram dose of vitamin B12, what you get is you're still 2,500 capsules required to possibly poison yourself. I might not know about the space program, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other stuff that would poison you before the B12. Stop following accounts like this. Honest to God, why do you guys follow this stuff? It's because secretly, many of you like getting spun up, and so you like seeing this stuff, even though you think you don't. You like seeing it because then you get a big rush of adrenaline and you're all scared and spun up. This is just complete freaking nonsense. I can literally pick any food, any supplement. Give me a food. I can find a chemical compound in it to scare you with. The dosage makes the poison. You can take a very low dose of something that is toxic in a high dose and it won't affect you. You can take a very high dose of something that's completely innocuous in a low dose and it can kill you. Stop following these accounts. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. He's never had basic toxicology, and my guess is by his comments about vitamin B12 being a metal that he's never had basic biochemistry either. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, before you rush out and buy 2,500 Flintstones vitamins so you can poison yourself and prove me wrong, please make sure that you don't do that because more of a good thing is not necessarily a good thing. We wouldn't want you to poison yourself. But by the way, 
if you took a bunch of vitamins, you'd poison yourself from other vitamins like vitamin D way before you would B12. All right, guys, catch you next week.